Welcome back guys, thanks for checking out the video. This is gonna be the first of a little mini series of videos that I'm gonna produce uh, of the late season hunts. And real quick, for those of you that aren't familiar with how Iowa seasons work, of course you have the archery season, then there's about two, two and a half weeks of a shotgun season, and then you get into this late season stretch, which is technically late muzzleloader season, but you're allowed to use archery equipment. And so that's a question I get. Year after year, I figure I address it up front. The question is, why don't I just take the muzzleloader out since it's a legal weapon this time of year, and you know, increase my odds significantly? For me, the answer is simple. I just I, I love bow hunting. I love the chase of it, the challenge of it, and that's all it comes down to. So that's kind of what this series is about: is showing that late season grind. It's definitely a grind with a bow, um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. So you know, we'll get right into the hunt. Hope you enjoy this. I'm a put these videos up basically as fast as I can get them edited. So uh, again, hope you enjoy and thanks as always for the support. Alright, it's December 19th and Iowa's shotgun seasons are finally over, which means I get to get back out. Yeah, I killed uh, the buck on my farm on November 13th, so that's how long it's been since I've hunted, over a month. So I'm excited to, to be back out. Uh, it's nice and cold, probably in the low 20s right now. It's going to keep dropping as the afternoon goes. I just got set up as kind of a long walk in here through the creek. I took my time. I think I got in here clean. I spooked some turkeys, but there's a bunch of them back out here already. So hopefully the deer move. Uh, unfortunately, you take long breaks like that. And this is almost like the first hunt of the year. Something's bound to go wrong or forget something. And unfortunately, the insert fell out on my camera arm base. And so I'm likely not going to be able to film film very well tonight I've kind of got it strapped in there right now but it's gonna be has to be absolutely perfect for me to for me to shoot a buck tonight just because of the footage isn't gonna be there but if, if I can get one to come close and right here I could potentially use the use this branch to support the camera and get a shot off but not not very likely I'm not expecting to see a shooter anyways, just kind of getting out here. There is one buck that if I could find him, he'd be my number one target this late season. I got pictures of him in January of last year, but then not again until about a week ago, I got one set of pictures of him up on one of these ridges in the middle of the day. So it had been like 11 months since I had seen him and he just popped in, so I don't know where he's living, how often he comes in here. He's a really good deer. I just, I think it's going to take a lot of luck for me to even see him. But regardless, I'm looking forward to the evening, seeing how the deer move. It just feels good to be back in a tree.
I am in shock that I just saw that buck. That's the one I was talking about that I hadn't seen since, or I hadn't, I've never seen him in person. I pictured him last January, almost 12 months ago, 11 months ago. And then one set of pictures about a week ago. When I first saw him, he was the second buck I saw tonight, and just crazy. When I first saw him, he was dogging that doe. And he never let her get very far away from him. He's sticking pretty close. A lot of these other deer worked off different directions and he's he's acting like he's paired up with her. They kind of worked off into this corner. But it's still pretty early. I still I got an hour left. I'm absolutely frozen. Fingers, toes, everything. Could be an adventure if they work this way. I talked about the camera arm being very tough. I don't know how I'll pull that off, but it's also just, I mean, it's just a big pick bean field, so there's not necessarily a reason for them to come down to this corner. So I'm gonna need some luck, but I'm just still shocked that he's, that he's in here. See how the rest of the night goes. If I can stay warm.
Well, I just got back to the truck here trying to get thawed out. Uh, it's probably, you know, 45, 50 minute process to walk all the way out again through the creek. But I think I got out of there clean as far as I know anyways. Uh, there, there was just a couple deer in the beans, in the bean field still. Um, but a lot of them have worked their way off, so I just kind of went slow and snuck out of there. It's very difficult to get out of there clean at this time of year. I mean, just late season tree stand bow hunting is about as hard as it gets with with just the deer been through so much pressure especially this last couple weeks being pushed around during gun season and everything so um i'm pretty pretty happy with how that hunt played out really didn't get busted by anything and like i said hopefully got out clean uh that buck as you saw at the end walked by it probably 50 to 55 yards i didn't actually take time to range it um, i just knew he wasn't in bow range and um wasn't gonna get a shot but i hope he sticks in there i don't know i you know it basically like you saw it's just a pick bean field so there can't be much food left out there i guess i'm kind of going to be relying on the natural browse in the area to hopefully keep him um like i said i the deer's so random and I haven't seen him for so long that I just don't know what to expect if he'll kind of stick in there or not but we'll see let the chase begin uh, heck of a first sit for the late late season here I've got some really cold weather coming so I have to try to make a game plan on where I could get after that deer you know maybe a little bit different stand location so we'll see how it goes excited to see him though